Hello friends, welcome to Samara Bot Tutorial. Today we are moving on to logistics website. How you can create logistics website using Samara Bot. Here we go. If you don't have Samara before, quickly go on Play Store and search for Samara Bot. And you click on the second option here, which is website builder. So when you click on this page, register, you create your website. After that, it will give you two links, one for your website and the other one for website manager. So click on the website manager, go to settings, scroll down, you will see your manager ID. You can use Samara Bot to manage your website or use web. So I want to use web. That's why you need to go to settings, scroll down and copy your manager ID. Here you go. After that, go to manager.service.com. Then you enter your manager ID here. So you can still enter your manager from here. Okay, now how can you create logistics website? Go straight to user portal. Click on the menu here and go straight to admin settings. We have different types of websites. So you select logistics website, then update. After that, when you check your website again, when you check your website again like this, you can see Samara will have configured your website to your taste. Okay, now all this you need to change all this from your website manager. Then gallery, I don't have anything here. You can add as many as you want. Then we have facts, you can add it from your website manager. This is user panel, which is user portal. Okay, so to go to where you can manage, where you can edit all the content here, you need to go back to website manager. Then from here, you can see services you see here, the services here, you can edit them or delete. You can see, so we have three, you can edit and you can delete. Now we have gallery here, so from the menu, I have a gallery. You can see I have only one, so you can add as many as you want. Then uh, news, we check from this place, we have news. Now, if you send message from, if someone sends a message from your website, you can see it comes straight to this place. Okay. Now, this is how you can get your manager ID. Go to settings. This is your manager ID. Then you copy it, use it on manager.service.com. Now, let's go back to user portal. User portal. Now, if you check this place, you can see you can enable sign up on your website log in and sign up on your website this is my website it has account let me log out first good now this is a logistics website you can request quotes maybe you want to um, ship some goods from one place to another let me register so that yeah i will have accounts on this website i have account before so i need to log in good so let me go back to the website and let's assume I want to request a quote. So let me click here. I'm, I'm acting like a customer. You can see. So choose from our services. So I can choose any. The commencement immediately. This is the book ID. So and then we have um, anything maybe you want to carry or you want to move some goods from one place to another. Any information you need. Or that you know that the company may need to provide it here. So once it is sent, let me send it. You can see it is sent. So as a manager, the owner of the website, I can check the quote history. This is the one they just sent. So you check the time. Yeah, 755. This is 756. Good. Now you need to click on this icon. This icon means you want to start working on the um, code. So you click on it. When you click on continue shipment, so employee in charge, maybe Mr. Saeed is in charge of the goods that want to be moved from one place to another or anything, any service you are rendering in your company. Okay, so the phone number of the person, likely the delivery date. Then the status is pending. Any note you want to give to the uh, to the customer to see. So 
so we are working on it now so about the prices another thing that need, that one will be settled you contact the person so i've created one now they come to approved quotes these are the list of approved quotes you can see the book id in case the customer or you as a manager you want to search for a particular quote so as a customer customer can just come to quotes history you can see i can see that it's pending so i can track my goods from here so uh, the owner of the website can contact you this is it so they can contact you and they can discuss the price for the shipment and this and that okay so that is a simple way to use samara to create logistics websites thanks for watching